Today I'm gonna be getting addicted to vape. <laughs> I'm taking like 10 hits. Officially day four. Now I feel like I really want this all the time. Hello people, welcome back. As you just heard, today we're gonna be watching a video where some guy gets addicted to vaping as part of a fun little YouTube challenge. Now, when I first saw this YouTube video recommended to me, I thought for sure that it was a joke. But unfortunately, that is far from the truth. This is in fact real. Smash the like button for a free ketamine addiction. Wow. It'll be instantly addicted. It'll be awesome. Awesome. The subscribe button's right beside the like button. Just click that too. Anyways, let's begin. Today I'm gonna be getting addicted to vape and then seeing how hard it is to stop. Right away, we're just force fed so many sound effects and zoom ins and all this. You know, the Mr. Beast ADHD effect. There's just something so odd and funny about this because, you know, he's talking about getting himself addicted to vapes and it's just like, today I'm gonna be getting addicted to vape. It's like an old school morgues intro, but instead of it being, today I'm gonna be sleeping in slime, he's instead getting addicted to to nicotine that, that's the challenge i have never vaped in my life but a lot of people around me are just addicted to these little machines and i don't really understand 99 percent of the time they always say i just don't want to stop it, this is an actual addiction this is a problem so i'm gonna get addicted to vaping Cody, that's not good for you i know i want to see what these people are going through wow what a hero what a brave soul stepping up to the plate getting the addiction so he can understand the other people with the addiction you know i actually didn't even know it was possible to be this dumb but you know what mr boo here is solid evidence that it 100% is possible. I think I could beat the addiction. Am I gonna get addicted to vape forever or am I gonna break the addiction? You know, the best way to break an addiction is to never start it. I guess there's only one way to find out. If you're watching this and you're addicted to vape, hopefully I don't turn out like you. Well, this is it. I guess there's only one thing to do. Dude, I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> Oh my god. So, do you guys think he's being dramatic? Let me know down below in the comments. He's definitely being dramatic, by the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no way. Oh my god. <laughs> my eyes are literally watering. Oh my god, dude, it burned. This shit burned way worse than we got. Damn. For context, guys, I used to vape. I haven't in over a year, and I never plan on doing it again. But you know, I know the feelings that he's feeling right now. The first hit you take, yeah, it hurts. It burns. And it takes a while to get used to that burning feeling. But I will tell you what, it does not make you bounce around your room like that. I guess we gotta keep going, right? <laughs> and just like that, he is instantly addicted. Already going in for the second puff. It's been like three seconds. By the way, this has 5% nicotine in it. So I'm going to get addicted eventually. <coughs> Wait, it's starting to go down way smoother. I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I'm just vaping. Oh, dude, it feels so weird vaping. Ew. I've taken like 10 hits and it's not burning anymore. Holy shit. Oh my, I'm feeling lightheaded. I feel super lightheaded. That's what they chase. Oh, all right. So here's why this is very stupid. Okay, sure. You know, it's a YouTube video. He plans on getting on addicted to it. He plans on quitting by the end of this, right? Which maybe he does. Maybe he stops doing it by the end of the video. Here's the problem and why vaping is so addictive and why it's so stupid for him to make this video. He's never going to forget that feeling that he's feeling right now. That buzz in his head that's making him lightheaded. And you know what? I never forget the first time that I hit it and that feeling that I felt. And let me tell you, guys it doesn't make you feel like euphoric or great or anything like that it just makes you feel lightheaded but it also like makes you feel good because there's a lot of dopamine coming out but now that he's never gonna forget that feeling that's always gonna be in the back of his head and he could easily start vaping again like even after the challenge is over all of that because let me tell you even a year after not doing it i still crave that feeling sometimes now the cravings last less and less as you go longer and longer without it and that happens very extremely rarely to me but like if i'm near a friend and i see them hitting it or something you know i might imagine to myself what it would feel like if i hit it however i have good self-control now which i used to not have so i could choose not to do it and who knows maybe this guy has excellent self-control as well but like why even risk it you know this is just stupid statistics show that one in 20 americans vape and teenage e-cigarette consumption has gone up 1800 percent in the last year now the mental effects short-term feeling of pleasure and relaxation but it also can cause a feeling of anxiety long-term nicotine can lead to changes in energy levels, mood, and behavior, and can even cause depression. No way a vape's gonna make me feel anything emotional, right? Statistics show that if you jump out of an airplane without a parachute, you have a very likely chance of a death sentence. But is that really true? Well, there's only one way to find out. Like, I'm sorry, but the reason that this guy is doing this is it's just so stupid. Right? Yeah, I was about to find out the hard way. By the way, this video is shot in Mexico, definitely not the US. I'm with oh. the Richardson. Hey! <laughs> 
quick little snack. <laughs> Yeah, what flavor is that? Do you vape? No. Aloe watermelon. You're hitting it? I hit this. <laughs> no way, bro. <laughs> Wait, you can blow oh Honestly, it feels like I'm watching like two fifth graders who just found a vape off the ground on their walk to school. I think I need to hit it again. <laughs> you want to hit it with me? Yeah! Wait, I can see why this would be addicting. Yes, because it's so fun. Huh, I could see why this might be addicting. Trust me, it's not a maybe. It's not a might. It is. You know all the stuff where it says like nicotine is an addictive chemical? That's not just fun little words that they put on the package. It's 100% true. If you guys see me vaping in a later video, just know I didn't make it out alive. Nicotine causes the release of dopamine in the brain, which gives people a good feeling. Dopamine is the chemical in your brain that gives you the feeling of pleasure or like satisfaction. Good things that give you dopamine. Exercise, meditation, getting enough sleep. But bad things give you dopamine also. Junk food, social media, vaping. And what's dangerous about this is you're killing your body, but your mind feels good doing it. So you fall into a trap. It's literally tricking your body to kill itself and be okay with it. Guys, if you do this thing, it's gonna kill your own body, but make your brain okay with it. Let's fucking go. Let's do it. Oh, I've been saying that for a hot second. Are you, are you doing it right now? Nope. No, he's not. Can you guys vape with me so I don't feel alone, please? I already made friends vaping. I can quit if I wanted to. If I wanted to, I would quit. She said if she really wants to, she can quit, bro. Everybody says that. You want to quit vaping? Bro, I already quit. I just I just quit. I just quit. <laughs> so we made vape friends. <laughs> this is why y'all get addicted, because it's so fun to do with friends. <laughs> you look like you showed up to the fucking school photo shoot, but it's the wrong day. <laughs> no Nick November. What the fuck happened? No, 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 day fucking no. night. Wait, wait. Let me see what you have. She's whipping out all of her vapes right now. Oh my. Honestly, I was gonna say something, but I can't even judge. I used to be an absolute degenerate with this vaping shit. Whenever I was moving a couple years ago, I took the Snapchat and just the amount of these disposable things, so many of them, and I just, ugh. It honestly hurts to look at, but yeah, those are all empty disposables. And also towards the end of it, this is kind of whenever it was at the max point, I had one of the refillable ones, so you could like take the pot out, open it up, and put your own juice into it. I used to carry around this pouch, and it would have a bunch of replacement pods like 20 of them literally like a hundred dollars worth of replacement pods and i would have four different flavors of juice it was like in a pouch that was meant to hold usb sticks or something but i used it for that and i would always have a different flavor on deck you know like pink starburst blue raspberry strawberry kiwi ice all of that shit bro and i just had so much i was obsessed with it bro and i was breathing that shit more than i was breathing air honestly and the reason i had all of that stuff was because i was so scared of like not having it for just 20 30 minutes or something so i had to always make sure i had extra stuff on deck always honestly it probably sounds like i had a crack addiction or something but i'm telling you guys this was all nicotine all right i have a very addictive personality so kind of just got obsessed over it but honestly thank god i don't do that shit anymore thank god i kicked that habit and like i said over a year without it now i would never ever ever tell anybody to try it even just once and even a few of my friends still vape and i'll tell them like yo quit i'll tell you how to quit i'll tell you how i did it and i tried to tell them but they just don't want to listen they're addicted and i remember not wanting to listen either because you just don't care and like those girls said a thing that you would think a lot while addicted to it is oh i can just quit when i want to i just don't want to quit right now i can quit when i wanted to but the truth is the time I actually quit was like my seventh time genuinely trying all the other times I ended up going and buying another one and then it would just go back to how it was and I don't know some people say that it was easier for them to quit but for me that shit was pretty difficult which once again is why I think this video is so fucking stupid just got home from the restaurant when I go out in public it's way easier to meet friends. It's like a thing. Like, I don't know. Like, you have, like, a little group to vape with, and that starts a conversation. Vaping is a good conversation starter. That's why I feel like a lot of people do it. If other people are doing it around you, that's how it's going to get to your head. You feel me? Day one of vaping. I'm about to go to sleep now, y'all. Very glad that we all got to share that viewing experience. I think it's I think it's starting, bro. This is literally the only thing I've put in my body today. That's actually just fucking horrible. I haven't even ate yet. I've been vaping all day. And to be honest with you, I, I'm enjoying it. I know that sounds weird. Because at the start of this, I was like, I'm not getting addicted. I'm not getting addicted. I would make jokes about getting addicted. But like, I'm enjoying it. I genuinely see why people vape. It's like a comfort. I've noticed it. Going through this challenge, like I've noticed, I'm just finding a lot of comfort in this vape. I've noticed throughout the past two days, if I'm mad, sad, irritated, happy, I vape. When I'm driving my car, I'm vaping. When I'm 
listening to music, I'm vaping. When I'm on my phone, I'm vaping. Throughout this challenge, I've realized why people vape. And it's addictive, don't get me wrong, but it's like a coping mechanism also. Like, I just don't understand why he's giving himself this problem. He's so aware of it. Which, I mean, you know what? The video went viral for him. He got 3 million views. He probably made around like $10,000 off the video, maybe a little bit less. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, for $10,000, I would not re-get my nicotine addiction and go through the quitting process again. Absolutely not. Now, to be fair, once again, we have to take some other things into consideration. All right, this video probably helped boost his channel a lot, and there's plenty more money to be made off of just this video alone. So I guess if he's able to truly quit and it doesn't become a problem for him, then well played, I guess. But this is still an absolutely absurd YouTube video. I just wanted to say this goes for everything, not just vaping. But if you're dealing with addiction, and this goes for anything, if this is alcohol, weed, it pills, if this is other things, there is a way to stop. You can stop. If you're going through something, you have to realize you're stronger than whatever the fuck you're going through. If you had a whole book, but right now you're going through the hardest time in your life, that's just a chapter in that book. And that's not me saying it's gonna be easy. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna be fucking hard. It's gonna be difficult. Maybe even the hardest thing you've ever done in your life. But at the end of the day, you write your story. If you wanna fix a problem you have, you have to do it because nobody else is gonna do it for you. Yep, yeah, dude spitting, honestly. It's the third day. Today is now the fifth day of vaping. Some things that I've noticed that are different, but well, it's not really different. I've been feeling this for a few days now, but first I want to do a skin update with you guys. Oh my God, I'm so fucking bad right now. Been horrible ever since I started, bro. Adding on to that, I've been feeling down as fuck. Dude, my emotions have been off. Like, I know how I normally act, and my friends do too. And a lot of people have noticed, like, Bodie, what the fuck? You've been acting off. More anxious. I've been anxious as fuck lately, and I've been, like, depressed as shit. It's hard to even get me out of my house. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you actually started vaping? You were actually serious? Today's my last day. Drop me off at home. I don't want to be out. <laughs> Why? Ever since I started vaping, I don't want to go out. Bro, shut up. We're at the beach and we met a bunch of new people. They were fishing. Now I got to catch a fish, bro, for the vid. You caught a fish? Dude, how are you catching so many and I caught nothing? Yo, I'm going to take a photo with your fish like I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Record, bitch. I like it. It's good. We vaping with fish. Should I throw him in or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> bye bye, motherfucker. <laughs> Bro, that fish is gonna be fiending for some nicotine later. Well, we fucking made it. It's the end of the seventh day, and honestly, it's just been a roller coaster of emotion. I feel like right when I started, I underestimated how it would make me feel. And that was the hardest part. Can I stop? And to be honest with you, I don't really want to. Even though I felt like shit for the past few days, I still want to hit it. And that's where I know the problem is. Am I gonna get addicted? Am I gonna stop? I'll see y'all in the morning. I just woke up and it's the first official day with no vape. Not gonna lie to you, I've already wanted to hit it pretty bad. I'm in a little irritated mood. Yeah, I knew this was gonna be shit. And to be honest with you, I'm not in a good mood at all. I've been getting pissed off, like, real easy. Like, the smallest things tick me off. Like, my microwave was tweaking, kept clicking 30 seconds and it wasn't working and I punched that shit. Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. I still wanna hit the fucking vape. I actually really wanna hit the vape. I see why y'all keep going. I don't even give a fuck that it's bad for me at this point. Like, I just wanna hit it. See how day two feels it is the second day i just woke up i low-key slept like shit i knew this was gonna be shit while sleeping i fucking felt anxious as shit i kept waking up out of sleep i slept but i still woke up tired it feels like i didn't even fucking sleep at all adding on to that i wake up with these fucking headaches bro i knew this shit was gonna be hard i would wake up with my heart fucking beating out of my chest i mean everything this guy is saying is true all right i think this challenge is 100 percent real it wasn't a zero nicotine vape or anything like that he's actually doing it this is all stuff that i felt whenever i but I was very, very irritable. I was honestly mean. Like, I was just mean. The smallest, littlest things would piss me off, and I would, like, storm out of my house and stuff. But after a few days, you know, that went away, and I was back to normal. I think it's over. Woke up with no symptoms today. I feel like myself. My emotions are decently stable. <laughs> I think it's over. I did only vape for seven days, so I didn't expect the withdrawals to be long. But I woke up with nothing, and it's, like, five o'clock. I was not expecting this much from this challenge. How it fucked with my emotions. How it fucked with me physically. This shit was Ass. To be honest with you guys, fuck vape. Don't do this shit. It's fucking horrible for you. Makes you feel shitty. Just don't fucking do it. Honestly, props to him. He was able to quit successfully. But like I said earlier, here's the main issue with it. He opened up his mind to know that feeling forever. Just for a YouTube video. At Craving will come back randomly for pretty much ever. This video more than likely will have an effect on him for the rest of his life. If not his whole life, at least for a few years. And it's not like the effect that's going to have on him is extremely serious. It's something very minor. There's just no reason to give that to yourself just for a YouTube video. Haven't seen enough? I got you. Check out this video right here. I'll see you over there.